Good afternoon. I'm doing this message because many people have contacted me this week. This It's very efficient to give out the information of what's going on. So around six to eight months ago, Amazon started the unsuitable products, tainted products, which it seemed like they were saying that the goods may have been stolen. And what Amazon did is they made it do a virtual identity. And then if they didn't, if they weren't happy with what they heard, they suspended you and many times they have the money and the inventory. In the last few months, more people have been getting those messages. Around half, I would say, end up getting suspended. Once you get suspended, you're almost guaranteed so far not to get back. The last week, it seems like they're, they're just going crazy. The last two weeks, uh, anyone that's selling anything not from a wholesaler, if it's from a private group or some kind of arbitrage, if it's certain electronics, they're just doing that virtual ID and it looks like those sellers are going to have to do an interview. I just don't think in this situation there's, there's any deeper uh, meaning between getting you know, call in 14 days or if they give a date or if they change a phone and I, I just don't think it makes a difference. But that's what's going on is that Amazon seems to be widening the net and of course they're getting many false positives and they keep expanding it to sellers who are selling branded products and calling it unsuitable. I don't really have a solution what to do if you're in that situation other than get the money and I wouldn't send in more goods, obviously, and I may not even set, continue selling merchant fulfilled because if you're gonna get suspended, they're gonna hold that money too. So things right now, that's what's going on from my perspective. And we do have a petition that Amazon should engage with us in a better way. I'm gonna put the petition below. So I think all of us should sign.